channel. It is Marisa here. It is kind of late at night. Um, and yeah, I couldn't record all day. Uh, my son had all his friends over. It was Sunday. So this will probably be uploaded tomorrow, Monday. So what are we doing today? Well, if you know what Sakura um, season is, it is a time in Japan where the cherry blossoms bloom. And actually, cherry blossoms are some of my favorite flowers. Um, in my neighborhood in Queens, we have quite a few, um, actually on my block, of these beautiful cherry blossoms. And usually the season, uh, depending in Japan, depending on the region, it's usually from January to April. Now I believe in New York it's more close, it's closer to April. Um, definitely not now, it's too cold over here. But over there, depending on the region, it kind of starts in January and it goes through April. So we are going to be, look how beautiful that is, doing a pour painting today using the Primal Flow. I know I'm using a lot of this, but you know what, these colors are gorgeous and they actually all work perfectly for what I am thinking today. So I'm going to do a puddle pour and I'm going to be using some of these beautiful blues to represent that beautiful sky and obviously all my gorgeous pinks and I'm going to use some white um, and then I am going to possibly go in with this stick and add a little black to kind of represent um, like branches and stuff, that nice contrast. So I'm going to be doing smaller puddles all over the canvas. And by the way, this is a 12 by 12, um, I kind of like using this, nice pointer, <laughs> 12 by 12 canvas. And what do we have here? What is, uh, this is the intense teal. Then we get the sea foam, uh, plum perfect. We have this bubblegum pink, and then we have the magenta, we have titanium white, and we have uh, shimmer black, okay? And as always, my materials are in my description. And I also, what I did buy <clears throat> was a new silicone mat. And I actually found one that was very reasonable. Now, these companies that um, kind of advertise for more art, they say, you know, silicone mats for um, resin or jewelry making, they're about $40 for this size. Maybe a little less for this size, but this is a pretty big one. This is a 20 by 24. I got this for $13.99 um, because it was, it was advertised more for cooking and baking. It's still silicone and is actually better quality than this one. And this works perfectly fine for either resin or my paint pouring. So tip, you don't necessarily have to use the silicone mats that are quote unquote meant just for art. You can actually use some for baking or just, it, it's silicone and is actually really good quality. Um, it's even, it's definitely better quality than this both of these together and I've been using these for months now both of these together were $7.99 um, and I just kind of not attached them but I put them together and I they kind of adhere to one another and they make a pretty big one so that way I can protect my table a bit because what I want to do is just use these two for resin and then use this for my pouring that way I don't have to clean off my paint and use it for both you can see all that paint still stuck on there, but now this will just be for my resin. And uh, tonight, because um, my son was taking over the house with his friends, um, I was just kind of working here in my little chair, and I used up the rest of the unicone um, resin, and I went back into my uh, dragon eyes. I made all of them, and I did put this one and that one has the actual eyeballs and I made these clear with just a little glitter in each one of them um, and then this one has a little bit of neon, has some neon pink 
and I did finally make the gabachon and I actually made some pink one just for the heck of it because I had the, the, all the pink ones are just like left over I didn't want to waste it and then I made that guy because that was what was left I don't want to just kind of chuck it so I did make six clear gabachon and then I made six um, new uh, dragon eyes alrighty so let's get started on this beautiful puddle pour in honor of Sakura or cherry blossom season. Okay guys, I will be back in a minute. Duke! 
back. So I really, really enjoyed doing this. It was so nice to get finally get to paint a little bit today. I did do some resin, but still I just really felt like painting. Um, I loved adding that black and I loved the way it just, if my camera could focus, um, the way it blended into the blues. I just really love, I love puddle pours. Um, I just think they're very soft and that white kind of just feathered out a little bit there, a little, tiny bit of cells. I wish my camera would focus. All right. Yeah, I love the way this came out. I think this is absolutely beautiful in honor of cherry blossom season, the Sakura. And I am really, really happy with this. I love this color combination. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I love just a little bit of black detail just to bring it out and for that little bit of contrast and to mix those colors just a bit. So guys, um, that is it for today or tonight in my case. Um, probably I'm going to unmold these guys. Um, don't kill me, but I did buy more molds. And they're really, really awesome and weird as all hell. Um, they're like these like skeleton skull molds, but they're very weird and a little bit different. Um, I just was attracted to, but not not expensive at all. Very, very seven ninety nine. And I forgot to tell you that I did because I actually did run out of resin um, after the after doing this. I was pretty much done. I didn't have a lot left, so. I did wind up trying, I was going to get the bigger bottles of the liquid diamonds, but you know what, when I try something for the first time, I like to get the smallest version of it, so just to try it out for myself, and this particular resin, the liquid diamonds, is actually a 2 to 1 ratio, meaning uh, the resin part is a 2, and then the hardener is 1 part, so we'll see how that, wor that works. And hopefully, I really love it. I heard wonderful things about it. Like barely, I mean, crystal, crystal clear. Um, and like barely any bubbles whatsoever. No air bubbles. So um, I heard really good, great things about it. So I am hope, And it's uh, honestly, and it's very reasonably priced. So I'm happy about that as well. Alrighty. So I, I just didn't realize how much resin I was going to go through so fast, but I'm like really loving and enjoying doing the painting and the mold and a combination of both. All right, guys, so I'll show you that resin should be coming tomorrow with the molds. Um, but uh, it is Sunday night, so this video will probably go up to uh, Monday. So hopefully soon I could do the other video and showing you what I got and also I want to get started on my Markiplier video my next new little series okay and we're going to start off with the Markiplier with a little bit of information about him and also the kind of background painting similar to what I did with my chakra uh, series but you'll see when it happens so, alright guys, that is it for tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful day tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Don't forget to hit me up on all my social media. My, all my links are below. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.